Hi there, good morning, welcome. Welcome to um, Helpful Lawyers. Take thank a seat. You. Take a seat. Um, how are you today? Good? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Anyways, um, how would you like me to refer you? Miss Caravella, Jordana? Yeah, Jordana's fine. That, that, that's that good. Would be good. Yeah, it's a good, good way to start after all the emails and phone calls and um, all the, those other means of communication, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely better. Yeah, like yeah. Person. Well, obviously, before we begin, like, I want you to know that everything that we say and what we'll do today is confidential. Um, treat, we can treat each other as friends, we can help each other, and the only way we can do that is, is if we're totally upfront. And that obviously starts with me telling you that everything said here today is between me and you. Um, I'm here to help you, and I can only help you as best as I can if you tell me everything that's going on in your situation. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, because obviously people, like, they walk into a lawyer's office and think, like, the worst thoughts, like, where, um, yeah. yeah. I was a bit nervous. When yeah, I nah, nervous. nah, like, yeah. That makes me feel a lot more calm than that. That's how, like, that's totally understandable. You're not the first. There's a lot of people in that category. Like, a lawyer's isn't, like, an everyday visit. It's not your annual dentist appointment. It's something that happens in those circumstances where you need help. Okay, no worries. Thank you. All right. So, that being said, um, basically what this interview is, it's a free consultation. Every, we, if you feel we are going in the right direction, if you feel comfortable, we will work from that. The usual costs range, range from about um, $150 an hour. That, that isn't a problem. The problem is what problem you are facing and how we're going to um, focus on it together and solve it. So, yeah, just talk me through it. and. We'll see if I can be of any assistance. Okay, so from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, from the beginning. Okay, no worries. So, um, it was about like two weeks ago and I was in Byron Bay with my boyfriend. And yeah. we were at a music festival. And it was all good and we are having a great time. And yeah. then, all of a sudden he threw his jacket on me for me to carry. And we are just walking through like the field and then we saw these police dogs and police. Yeah. And I knew obviously they'd be going for drugs, but I didn't worry because I knew that I didn't have drugs. Mm -hmm. um, but... Like, I saw him freeze up a little bit, but it wasn't anything to worry about. Yeah. But all of a sudden, like, I had police dogs and, like, police on me. And I knew that I didn't have drugs, but they found drugs in my boyfriend's jacket that I was carrying. And um, so, like, I was all worried and stressed. And then they took me to the police station and they were trying to tell me that I wasn't cooperating because I was trying to tell them that they were my drugs. Yeah. Which is the truth because I knew I didn't have drugs. Mm -hmm. um, but then... When we left the police station, they eventually, like, they processed me quickly because there was just so many people that day that were getting charged with drugs. Oh, from the festival? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So they just processed me quickly and gave me a, a, a court date to go and um, do with my case in court. Mm -hmm. But, like, I just came because I don't really know what to do. Like, I'm a bit stressed because I don't haven't been in this situation before and I know that it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. And, like, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but... If you promise, like, you're not going to say anything, like, my no, no, boyfriend yeah, yeah. admitted to me that it was his drugs in the yeah, jacket. Yeah, yeah. But, like, there's a lot of pressure from, you know, different, like, parties involved. Oh, for really? me not to say anything. Yeah. And what, what, what are those parties involved? Well, like, to start, like, like, his family. Like, they already don't like me very much. Oh, so, they don't? No? Yeah. So, I know that they would like me more, like, if I said it was me. Mm-hmm. Like, there was a, there's a few things, even, like, my boyfriend, he studies law, and, like, I know that if he gets this on his record, like, one little thing like this could stuff up a lot of chances for him. Yeah, well, you know I, mean. I do know what I mean, but one little stuff up like this can have equally devastating effects on your life. I think, like, what you've said, it's a, it sounds like a headache, but it's not that much of a problem in the sense that I'm here to help you. I know the law. I know what we can do. Yeah, but you don't understand because yeah. I'm like, the, the parents are like a big deal. Like they will... What, what do you mean by big deal? The pressure they're putting on you? Yeah, and like, I know that if it was to come out about him having the drugs, not me, like it would be in the, like, it'd be like publicised a lot more than it should be. Well, why, why is that? Well, like, his dad is like a big like politician guy. Oh, really? And so people know him and he's like a public figure. And so if they knew that his son was like involved in drugs, like it would obviously make the news a lot. So like as a like politician is has and 
he's been putting pressure on you to make some sort of decision? Yeah, uh, the family really want me to say that it was me that had the drugs and not um, their son because obviously, you know, they couldn't afford to have that running when they have campaigns and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, obviously it's going to have negative consequences on me for me to say that it was mm -hmm. me. Um, and also, like, their family supports me with a lot of, like, financial stability kind of thing, like, they pay for me to live rent free, which mm. is a lot of help for me. Yeah. And so if I was to go against their wishes, I guess like I would lose a lot of that. So I'm really stuck on what decision to make. And I just can't think clearly yeah, because no, there's no. too many factors. No, playing. no, yeah. What, and what do you feel like you should play? Like, where, where is your... Well, obviously... Do I'm, you want to listen to the parents or... Well, obviously I don't want to have that record on myself, especially because it wasn't me who did it. Mm. Um, but... Then again, the pressure from that family is so, like, they're already, like, I'm scared of them as it is. And then they could take away everything that I have and then I will have nothing in Sydney. Like, I don't have a means of living. And okay, like yeah, that. that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Look, the pressure they are putting on you, it does make the situation a whole lot worse for you. As a lawyer, hearing that for the first time, I would honestly advise maybe... Plead, like just pleading um, not guilty because you were not the one in the wrong. You should never hold yourself accountable for someone's um, decisions and the wrongdoings they do in life. Right. This is, we all have our own lives to live, and if we are, if we get sucked into the pressures of other people, the law system in itself would collapse, and you can't have other people taking the blame for other people's wrongs. Yeah. So. But but yeah. you also have to take in. Like, to mine, like, everything else. Like. Yeah, no, no, and that's totally understandable. And it's your decision what you want to plead and whichever path you want to take and recognising each given, the repercussions of each decision, we can work from that and um, kind of bounce back in the best way possible and avoid anything too severe or too damaging on your life, whether it be legal or familial with your boyfriend's parents. Um... Yeah, I. So is that? Is there anything else? Is there anything else you'd like to tell me? Any small stuff you might have missed? Anything else? I don't think so. No. If no. it comes to my mind, like, yeah. How can I contact you? Oh well, we have our phone number. Um, on the front desk, there's cards, so you can just get one from the receptionist. You have my email. We've been talking from before. Sure. Um, we're always happy to um, talk further. Obviously, I hope I hope you do come back. You're feeling comfortable. And, um, yeah, so basically what I want to know, just quickly, so I'm just going to take a few notes this time. Just okay. run me through it really, really briefly and just give me, like, the few, okay. the, just what happened. Okay, so in Byron Bay at a music festival, I was carrying my boyfriend's jacket, had drugs in the jacket, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that was in there. And the yeah. police came with their dogs and... Um, and like they, they got the drugs in the jacket that I was carrying. Yeah. They took me to the station and they said that I wasn't being cooperative because I was refusing to admit that they were my drugs because they weren't. And um, now I'm stuck because I got so much pressure from the family and so mm -hmm. not to say anything. And so I really just wanted like your support on that. But I think that's all my information. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> but I'm That's sorry, I just enough. get really stressed. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. But it's good you can smile and laugh about it. Like, it's good that, like, you're so... I feel that you're comfortable. Like, I, I the do, fact that I you're laughing comfortable. shows that I you're comfortable. I hope that comfortable. you, like, would never say anything. No, like no, no. As I said before, I'm your friend. I'm here to help. And confiden confidentiality is a big, big thing at this law firm. Okay. And we, honestly, we, we hold that dearly to our hearts. We hold it very close to our hearts. Okay. So I, I feel good. I feel good how this first consulta consultation went. It is free, like I said. It, and I do hope to see you again and we can work together from, um, in this given situation. Okay, okay, thank you very much. No, thank you. Thank you.